Yo, 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 welcome back to the live stream. It's your boy Tokyo Stone and we are back in business playing some Stellar Blade. Today we're going to be taking a look at um, a starter build. We're going to be showing you how to break down a quick build that you can use to transition from the demo into the main game. This is a cheap build for beginners. It's like only costs you 32 points, uh, 32 skill points. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. We're going to start off over here with the beta skills. So... Um, slash already you start with this unlocked you know this is your aoe attack i would recommend if you're tight on points you haven't got that many go with the damage boost and then focus on getting your level two attack your crescent slash which upgrades it so you get two hits out of it this is a massive massive upgrade for the attack and so like definitely just rush down to get the level two if you prefer the shield damage boost or the the beta energy recharge by all means grab those i like damage so i think yeah if i had to pick i'd go with slash damage and then a level two attack over here you got your focus attack so here again the same thing i've gone with uh, extra damage and then the level two attack then over here shockwave again the same thing damage boost with the level two upgrade now for all of these ones you see the one that's missing is the beta recharge obviously you got your shield damage but if you if you got a few extra points by all means get the beta recharge i think it's a great it, it really does buff out you know make the skill a bit better every time you use it you get one little square back you don't get a full set but you get one little square i think that's better than nothing so jumping down to the shield breaker uh, i haven't gone for the full upgrade because i feel that's quite expensive so as this is a starter guide we're going to keep it, you know, nice and light. So, yeah, shield breaker plus the shield damage boost. If you upgrade the beta skills in this way, you end up with a strong AoE. Yeah, that's got boosted damage and a level two and a, and a second hit. You've got your focused attack, which gives you, again, damage boost and a second hit. And then you've got your range. Yeah, nice ranged attack with a damage boost as well to go with it. Down here, shield breaker with your shield damage boost just to give you a bit more oomph when you're hitting them bosses right on this skill tree now i've left the ambush the stealth attack but you by all means you could grab that because you know stealth is one hit kills um you know if you're low on skill points one hit kills is probably you know something you're into so check that out but yeah i think this is clutch beta chain you have to get beta energy recharge one to unlock beta chain but i think that this is probably one of the most useful and perhaps even like one of the best skills in the whole game um obviously there's other skills that give you a lot more utility in different situations but like as far as just fun um helping you through some of the trickier enemies like the crabs with the shield and stuff like that this is just and it helps you learn the combos as well because like to use this technique properly you have to kind of pick a few combos you know um basically you're just holding triangle on the last hit so the easiest example would be here where it's triangle 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 for the combo you would go triangle triangle hold triangle for the third hit you with me or if you go down here it'll be triangle square triangle square hold triangle for the last hit so yeah i can't recommend beta chain enough it's a super op um skill i really enjoy it this is also like non-negotiable lightning rush and infinite rush um these should be some of the first things you buy for your character they increase the range and um the amount of uh, damage of the rush attack which is like clutch you need rush just you, just like i said to close distance and to deal damage it's, it's one of the most useful skills in the game you want it fully upgraded i didn't go for rush chain 2 because we are you know this is not meant to be a, a, an advanced build it's a starter thing so yeah rush chain 1 I really enjoy this it's free and like yeah it just makes your rush a much better attack you can of course go for rush chain too but it costs beta energy and you know it's it's an extra two points as well but yeah all right cool we'll go on to the next skill tree survival skill tree now here we've um we've gone for the focus boost because i feel like having a bigger window for the parries it's no bad thing it's a good thing it's lit the beta energy recharge one beta energy you don't need none of those and like this stuff i mean you want death there for later on you know if you've got more points to, to throw around the counter and the counter two are pretty cool i prefer counter two but again i feel like they're more advanced if you've got more points to throw around if you're short on points just go straight for the focus boost blink you should have just from completing the demo I put the you got reflex boost which makes it easier to get a perfect dodge which i think is good because the perfect dodge window is much less forgiving than the um parry window is in this game 
and double dodge i think double dodge is like one of the best things you can get for just freeing up your movement and uh and also freeing up the dodge itself with only one dodge it does feel a bit tight sometimes and it's quite hard you know if you miss the window you don't get any wiggle room to the left or the right to help you you know get out get out of harm's way so double dodge is really good it doesn't actually work like a double dodge it more feels like an infinite dodge that you can just kind of spam dodge but that's more on the map when you're in battle it does eventually you know have a cooldown but yeah double dodge so yeah that that runs it so we're going to run through it back again just to, to to recap so slash extra damage level two slash triplet extra damage level two triplet shockwave extra damage level two um crosswave shield breaker with extra shield damage you want some beta energy recharge with this beta chain technique infinite um, infinite rush and lightning rush rush chain one you want focus boost reflex boost double dodge and yeah that's the full set so yeah and and um so though that skill tree it sets you up good and proper like you've got a full set you've got your whole complete beta skill set to use you've got your beta chains for extra damage just in mid mid combo and stuff like that you've got a bus a buffed up rush attack to help you initiate and to close distance and then you've got this just to make your parries a little easier make your dodges a little easier i think for a starter build very cheap only 32 points this is a beautiful build you could you can use to get you from the demo into the main game and still let you have a few mechanics to work around with and play around with um, one thing i will point out is that even in the demo you have access to this combo attack enhancement gear so i'm not sure exactly where you find it but if you play the demo properly you'll pick one up i'm sure also once the main game starts and you get into the car park you have access to your first uh, exo spine you like pick it up in a chest or something so yeah i would definitely say like make sure check your gears see if you've got anything lying around that you haven't equipped and once you get to the main game keep an eye on the exo spines because the main basically the skill trees everyone's skill tree is going to be the same by the end of the game because they're all going to be fully complete this is where you put your player expression this is where you make your build different from any everybody else's you know um at the beginning of course you're not going to have enough stuff to experiment with really but by end game i'm sure this collection is going to completely open up so yeah that does it guys let's do a quick demonstration of the beta skill so look it's like triangle triangle and then you hold on the third hit and you and you the sword flashes red that's how you know you've hit it so we do it this is triangle square triangle square and then you hold on the last hit so that's how the beta chain works anyway i hope you guys found that sorry about that clap i probably fucked up the mic but yeah i hope you found that useful hope you enjoyed the vibes stay lit have a good time links in the description we're playing this stuff uh, we're playing this game on the stream hopefully every day for like the next you know week or two or maybe even more so yeah if you like all the vibes subscribe notifications all of that you'll see us playing this live on the channel um i hope you're enjoying the game and yeah i hope this build this starter build was useful to you anyway you lot take care and i'll catch you lot in the next one peace <laughs>